What I can tell you is that uh, the commute time for uh, people who live in the GTA is getting a little longer. Uh, it was uh, 32.8 minutes in 2011, and it's it's 34 minutes in 2016. So that's an increase of 1.2 minutes, just over a minute on average. It's a challenge getting around the region. The the region has the the most people in Canada, and there there are about a thousand people living in every square kilometer of of the GTA. Whether you know, and that GTA is a big area from Ajax to Milton to New Tecumseh. It's a, it, it covers a large area, but it's it's a very densely populated area. If you break down uh, and just look at the cities instead of just talking about the GTA, if you're uh, coming uh, from Ajax, uh, the, the average commute is 38.7 minutes, so almost 39 minutes. Um, that's... Uh, well, that's the one with the worst commute time. But if you're commuting into the city of, of Toronto, it's 39 minutes. So it's about the same as the commute for people from Ajax. But a lot of those people from Ajax are actually, they work in the city of Toronto. So they're, they're skipping right across. And uh, actually, uh, almost half of uh, people from, from Ajax are working in the city of Toronto. No matter where you are in Canada, pretty much, a uh, car is the most popular. However, uh, it's been going down uh, in the GTA over the past 20 years. Uh, fewer than 70% of uh, people who live in the GTA are commuting by car. Uh, and public transit has been increasing uh, over time. We are seeing that uh, both walking and cycling is, uh, more people are doing that in, in the GTA than 20 years ago. Obviously, there's not only expansions in public transit, but also uh, in a lot of urban areas, increased opportunities for cycling within the city or, uh, you know, paths to bypass certain parts of the city. Same with walking paths.